we have finally made it to this weird <laughs> statue. That's the place we were going to meet the mysterious man. He's here, inside the cabin. Hello, stranger! Who are you, and what are you doing here? Detective, so nice of you to finally drop by. Can I interest you in something to eat? Polish sausage, perhaps? It tastes Polish. Who are you? Why did you leave me that message? I want to help you, but there's one condition. No questions. I see you've handled the bell nicely on your own. Now, my unsolicited advice is to stay focused on the church. Search it like you haven't got a prayer. Because, let's face it, you don't. Hurry, you can still save Kate. And by the way, you might find this handy. What is it? Oh, it's a candle for the church. Well, thank you, sir. Also, who are you? What is your name? The church detective. Kate is waiting for you. No, seriously, can you tell me more? The church detective. Kate is waiting for you. Oh, fine. I'll just grab the sausage. The Polish sausage is sort of like its own storyline here. Really? My personal belongings should be less interesting than the church. I just want to know who you are. Really? But really? Shouldn't you be searching for Kate? Uh, well, this guy's angry and not giving me much help. I'm going to grab a rake here and use it to rake his leaves. Because apparently I'm doing his chores now. Yeah, it gives me a, a broken axe. Well, I'll have to fix that at some point. We have another piece of evidence from this mysterious stranger, maybe? Or maybe it's from Hamilton. I'm going to grab a branch. No, it's got to be from this stranger, right? Hamilton Hamilton disappeared 30 years ago. Uh, the branch goes over here. So I can reach this nest. And that gives me a pair of lock picks. Now, I can go deep into the forest. No sense in going any farther until I've dealt with the town. But I don't know how to go anywhere here. No sense in going any farther until I've dealt So we basically got two different things to do right now. Uh, one of them is explore the church. The other is exploring the dog. And I think I'll do uh, the dog exploring stuff. Now, the man in the church said, Hey, um... What did he say? Something about next door, right? <laughs> He said, hey, the, 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 the guy next door, the, the farm next door, that, that's where Kate was. He said something to that effect. So he said we need to check out this farm because the boy uh, on this farm knows the girl I'm looking for. Well, the Polish sausage will be very yummy for the dog. And the dog will eat it. And now we get to go check out the farmyard. So we've got... This whole set of things we can do here in the farmyard, all because we got some sausage from the Mystery Man. I have to say, Mystery Man. Yeah, it's very strange, because we met him like two minutes into the game. You, 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 you start the game, uh, you, you go to the gas station, and that's where you first meet Mystery Man. He, and, uh, you know, if he had stopped and told us everything right then and there, I think... I think things would have gone a lot better for us, right? <laughs> of course, then we probably could have skipped like half the game, and obviously that's not good. He's still being very mysterious, not letting us know who he is or why he's here. I get the sense that he was like not exactly testing us, but just watching us, wondering if, hey, can this person be trusted or not? And I'm looking for parrots, not parrots, Carrots and pinchers and bananas. A tennis racket, pinchers, and a carrot. Where where are any of these items? I thought those were pinchers. I was wrong. Oh, the carrot's drawn on there. It's not like an actual carrot that I can pick up and eat. Tennis racket there. Finally, a pair of pincers. Pincers, pincers, I need some pincers now. Excellent. So, we got some scrap leather. We, we can, 
You know, I really feel like I should check my notebook to explain why was this farmhouse. So, I, uh, I mean, I keep notes on everything that happens in this game. So, yeah, like I said, the guy I saw at the gas station at the very start of the game is the same mysterious man we just met. It's like, why did he tear down the poster? Is he? Does he have a secret agenda? Is he playing his own game? Okay, so the old man who stole uh, my room... Oh, I didn't record the note about why he told me to go check out this farmhouse. Uh... Yeah, well, that's a shame. Anyway, looking over here, it looks like we need to undo this lug bolt so I can get that. I, I need to fix the jack handle and undo that so I can get the tire. I presume the tire is going to go here because this is missing a tire. We also have some gasoline. I need to get some gasoline out of there if I can. Looking inside the car. No car keys. Do I need to steal the car? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I have to steal the car. Hints, is that everything here? That is everything inside the garage. Well, there's not a whole lot to do in the garage. Let's go into the barn. We've got more stuff to do here in the barn. We want to fix this. See, the chain is broken. And I don't have a chain, so I guess I won't be able to fix it. Let's see, I'm going to put a hook here, and a hook here, yeah, yeah, and then I should pull the brake, that way it goes backwards pulling up this heavy ladder. I push the ladder forward for a hidden objects challenge. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Here's a car engine. Uh, jump rope. How is that not a jump rope? Okay, hint, help me out here. Hint says that's a feather. Thank you. There is an eggshell. I need a pitchfork and a hacksaw is the important item I need to wrap up this segment of the game. So where is the hacksaw? We've got a cat here. There's a rodent. I think the cat would get the rodent, but no. Toy gun, a trow, a pitchfork, an herbicide. I bet this is herbicide. Yep. No, that was paint. Okay, that's herbicide. Still looking for a jump rope. Found the jump rope. Now all I need is a pitchfork toy gun and a trow. There's a trow. Do I have a pitchfork and a toy gun? There's a toy gun. And the pitchfork was over there on the side. Great, and I think I'm all done with this area. Let me double check this map. Map says I can do something on the street, so I'll do that on my way backwards. Going all the way back to where I was. Oh boy. It is kind of a pain to get from one side of the game to the other sometimes. And hey, it's a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. This is what, the third time we've had to do a hidden objects challenge here? I'm surprised there's anything left for me to find. Um, dumbbell, uh, jump rope. Didn't I find that jump rope? I just found that jump rope. How did it get here? Did I drag it all the way from the barn to here so I could find it twice? <laughs> Uh, banners! I need myself a scarf. Where is a scarf? I don't see a scarf anywhere. A screwdriver. A ribbon. There's a scarf. Ribbon and garden soil. Is this thing a ribbon? No, there's a ribbon. So garden soil is that, that bag. It's a bag of soil. Okay, that gives me a screwdriver. Again, uh, I think it's for the final puzzle of this little area. We haven't actually found the area yet. Uh, so the scrap leather goes here. We use it to pick up that. Nice, a glass shard. Okay, so now we're going to go to the church. And I could have done this immediately after talking to our mystery man. So mystery man wanted us to use the candles here. We want to arrange the candles according to the picture. There we go. So that, that would be the picture in the evidence board. This one? 
that one. Cool. So, can I put anything on the evidence board? No, I cannot. I've got a lot of evidence, but I can't do anything with it. So, we go downstairs to this hidden area. We have, uh, notes. My flock's begun to wake up. Thomas Walker's not a threat. He's the next one to go insane, but that farmer's son! He's smart enough to sound the alarm. Hmm. Maybe our mystery person is this farmer's son that we, we're getting warnings about. Okay, we've got a marked spot on the map. And uh, apparently that's important for a piece of evidence. So, where do I put it? Preacher's hideout? Yeah. And let's see, where else was the preacher's hideout? Here? One of these. That. That. Hent, help me out here. And that. So those three items talk about the preacher's hideout. It's on the outskirts of town, a boathouse on the lake, and we have a map. It says we go left, right, left, left, right. Good. So we'll be exploring that. We'll be exploring that, don't you worry. We also want to find stuff to fix this. We have the one horn thing. Do we have a second one? No, but we do have a hidden objects challenge. Let's find it. Metal figurine, maybe? Rosary. A tassel, a horse, a king, a pipe, and a pen. I see none of these items. Um, emerald? No. That's a sapphire. Emeralds are green. So that's an emerald. There's a pipe. There's a pen. Horse would be the chess piece. King might also be a chess piece, although it could be a playing card like this one. That's a queen, though. Uh, there's a leaf. That is a maple leaf, not an oak leaf, so I am wrong. There's a tassel, though. A um, sonic emblem as well. Uh, let's just use hints. Masonic emblem was apparently there. It's kind of sad that I can see this thing here. I know that's one of the items I need to pick up because I already have one in my inventory. A one out of six in my inventory. So I know, I know we're going to have to come back here later on and grab that item. I just want to grab it now. I can tell it's going to be important. So where's my king at? King, king, where are you? There it is, it's that chess piece. Alright, so that gave me this figurine. I'll find the other figurine and that boathouse. So let's go back to the boathouse. Not back to the boathouse, let's go there for the very first time, because we haven't been there before. Let's pass the rock. Twice left, then right. Twice left, right again, and I should be there. Left, right, left twice, and right. And here we are. We're here at the lake. I think we use the pick locks. Let's zoom in and then use the pick locks. Our lock picks. So which one goes where? Here we go, that one goes there. You want to click on it three times to push forward every single one. one uh, four times. This one five times. You have to have good timing. If you have poor timing, you have to restart. That gives us the boathouse. And guess what? We have a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Where are my items at? Grab the bucket, that's easy to find. So is the large fish. I need to find another pipe. Uh, flashlight, a very common item we found so many times in this game. A radial, uh, a snorkel, a thermos, and a barometer. That's a barometer, I guess. And then three bobbers. Maybe if I use a hint to find the first one, it'll help me find the others. Are these bobbers? Nope, that was just one. 
That is not two. Wow, could barely see that hidden in the corner. So a snorkel, a thermos, and a bobber. That's a thermos. A snorkel should be easy to find. I don't know why it's not. That's the bobber. All right, well, I'll step back. So I'm going to use a hacksaw here. I'll open this up, giving me access to a boat. Yes, it's leaky and full of water. So I'm going to have to put the oars here. And I'm going to have to get rid of the hole with an item I don't have. Well, darn. <laughs> uh, whoops. And that was the snorkel. So a bucket. Yes, a bucket is a very useful item. And we are going to make waterproof resin. I better light the candle first. Well, I don't have anything to light. Wait, I do. I have matches. So I light the candle. Then I put the bowl in place. I still need the resin. I need to put the resin in place, right? All right, so hint says, ah yes, in the photo, this box is open. So where is that photo? Six oh nine one three. Cool, that gave me two items, uh, a plate and then a metal figurine. Let me make sure there's nothing else I need to do here. There is nothing else I need to do here. And here? Good. Good, good. So let's go back to the hidden area in the church. That's what the metal figurine is for. Let's me go inside this secret chamber. In the secret chamber, we have a picture, which I will cut with my glass shard. That's the preacher, creepy shadow behind him, and it's that evil place that we saw. Right, we've been to this evil place. I got part of a skull. Let's see, and I open up this for, hey, the resin stuff that I need to melt. Nice, nice. Oh, and evidence. Do, do I have, like, valuable evidence here? Um... Crime scene, maybe? Yes, it's part of the crime scene. And what else is the crime scene? Maybe the crime scene is here. Yes, the sinister scene. I recognize it. It's this, this underground place. So that's where the crimes are taking place. Yeah, that's where, that's where the preacher is killing these poor kidnapped girls. Great, great. So now I'm going to go back to the hotel. Now that I have a bucket, I can fill it with water. Turn this off. I'll go downstairs and use it. Use it right over here. Gives me a cork for the boats. And we have another hidden objects challenge. It's just amazing we still have items here because we've, we've been here for so many times already. This has to be like our third or fourth trip. So the, um, the dropper is the important item. I need medicine and two clothespins. Ooh. Alright. So, let me use a hint. Where's a clothespin? Let me show a totally unimportant... Uh, 
unimportant glitch with the game. If you're in a hidden objects challenge, it says you can do something everywhere in the game. Yeah, not sure why. Doesn't really have any effect on the game itself, but that is a glitch. And that's true with every hidden objects challenge. Oh, okay, that symbol meant medicine. That symbol meant medicine. But now that I'm out of the hidden objects challenge, you can see the screen. It's normal. The only place I can do something is the boathouse. Oh, so I must be here at the end of the video already. Well, what do you know? So this is kind of a, an open-ended uh, section of the game because, you know, you don't have to do the dog stuff first. I did the dog stuff first. You could have done this uh, boathouse stuff first. Doesn't really matter. Just do it however which way you want. So, we've got the resin here. We need to stir it. I mean, obviously you have to do, like, the three big things in order to end the chapter. You have to get this resin. Uh, let me see. Am I going to use a dropper for it? I am. You have to get the dropper. You have to get the cork. And you have to go to the dog area in order to get the hacksaw to open up this. So, the game does make sure that you do everything, it's just up to you in which order you do the various things. So, the resin can go here. Great, now that's solid, I'm gonna take the bucket and unload this. Good, and now I can sail to the other side of the lake. Let me just double check my map that there is nothing I could do anywhere else. Yeah, Sassy, all these long, long areas are cleared out. We might even be at the final area of the game. We'll find out in the next video. It looks like this mysterious place is where the murders are taking place, and I really do want to solve it. But what objectives do I do? I still need to figure out who this stranger is. Right? That's the only thing I have to, to really figure out. Who this mysterious stranger is. We do have some room here left on my uh, notepad so we can talk to him some more. And the ritual halls. Well, we've already sort of found them. We found them and we will explore them. Ah, I bet the runes will be part of it too. Yeah, we need to find the second half of the rune page. Now, uh, evidence. Like, I don't feel like I've got that much evidence. I don't even know where I'm going to put these random uh, for a piece of evidence. There's not a whole lot of room for anything else on my board, right? Right? Like, maybe one of these evidences? Like, does it have to do with Detective Hamilton? No. No. And, and no. So yeah, I, I don't know what else I need to find in evidence besides something with Detective Hamilton and something with the runic code. So we've got those two things and we've got uh, these two things. Yeah, so that's why I'm pretty confident we're near the end of the game. We do have room for, like, two more entries, though. So that worries me. That worries me. Maybe there's more to the game than I suspect.